All right, so this video is going to show you how to create a chart once you have all five of your mean absolute deviations, your own city that we did in class, and then the four others that you were to calculate uh, after you collected the data. So all five <clears throat> uh, sections should be on your spreadsheet. So this was just the one we had done in class here. And then you would have your other four, you know, down here, or you can put them over here on this side. It doesn't really matter, but I should be able to see all five uh, sections with the calculations of both the mean and the mean absolute deviation. So once you have your five numbers for mean absolute deviation, we're only going to deal with those five. So somewhere in an open space, for me it's to the right here, you're going to type in a column title. I'm going to type in city. And in this column, I'm going to type in mean absolute deviation. And if you need to move this over, click in between, make it a little wider. If you want to get fussy, you can center it. Okay, so make sure this is centered. So what you're going to do is type in your cities. So I'm just going to pick five random cities. Yours might be in this list. I don't really know. You just have to type the city name in there. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then here's where you're going to type in your mean absolute deviations. And again, I'm just picking random numbers right now. I have no idea what they are. 12, 10, 15, uh, 8, and 21. Those are probably not very accurate, but whatever. And then they're probably also going to be rounded or have a decimal places. So I'll add some in there just for fun. Uh, 10.65. Okay, once you have column, title, five cities, mean absolute deviation, title, five numbers, you're going to highlight all this right here. Okay, just like I have here. It is very important to highlight the, the uh, heading for your graph. It will make it a lot easier. You don't want to do this because then you have to type in the headings. So it will actually read these headings for you. So make sure you have it all uh, highlighted there. Then we're going to, what you're going to do once you have that highlighted, and only that highlighted, don't, make sure you don't have anything else highlighted, is you go up here to Insert, and then you're going to go to Chart. Once you click on Chart, this Chart Editor will pop up, and this is where you have some choices. We're going to, just going to do a simple bar graph, okay? And that's actually the first choice that they give you. So make sure the bar graph, the vertical bar graph, is uh, chosen and highlighted, and then you just click Insert and you've got your bar graph. And so what it does is it compares all your cities. You can make it a little bit bigger. I can drag this over. Okay, so now I have nice clear graph showing my five cities and all the mean absolute deviations. A couple things you have to do before you turn in this uh, Google Sheet is make sure you fix the title. So the way you fix the title is you just click on it. And then I want it to say uh, 5 U.S. cities, and then you can just do mean absolute deviation. So you can change the title. You don't have to pick that exact title. You could pick your own title, but something that's appropriate to the graph here. So you can see that it allowed you, or it, it labeled with city and mean absolute deviation up here, and that's because I highlighted that when I made the chart. A couple other things you can do just for fun and you can mess around with this is uh, you can change backgrounds. If I just right click on the background right here, it says uh, advanced edit, or I'm sorry, chart area. And so you can change fonts, you can change the background color, maybe you like light yellow, and you can click on one of these bars here and I'm going to change uh, if I click on this, I can make that, you know, red. Okay, so all you have to do is click on the part you want to mess with, and you can change the color. 
okay? Uh, you can even click on like the labels here and right click uh, or just click on it rather and you can make them go 30 degrees if you want to get fancy. Uh, you can, if you don't like that, you just make it go back, okay? Um, this right here is your minimum and maximum. So it always will pick a maximum, which makes sense. So this one right here is, uh, that was our highest mean absolute deviation. So you don't want to really change this. What you can change You can change the uh, grid lines right here. So if you just click in this box right here, so that's what I want to change. Uh, you can click what each uh, interval is. So let's say I want 10 spaces, then it will give me 10 spaces. Um, I can just make it two. I don't like this as much. Um, so five is good, just so it goes in equal spaces. Um, Again, you can change the color of your grid lines. You can make that green. Um, you can do different backgrounds. You can change this right here. You can make it caps. You can change the color of it. Maybe you want that to be this color, but you want it to be a little bit bigger. It does seem kind of small, so I'm going to click on the city here, and I'm going to make this bigger. All kinds of stuff you can do. So what I'm looking for is you to have the basic chart, I want you to show me that you uh, messed around with it a little bit, adjusted some things. Got to have a title here. Got to have your bars for your five that fit the data. And basically, when you are finished, you're going to turn in the assignment. So remember, that means you go back to up here, your classroom tab. And uh, my, my view looks a little bit different than yours. But when you click on the actual assignment here, I get all the students and their documents. But what you're going to get is the little area down here with your document and you're going to say click the blue turn in button so make sure you do that by uh, the due date and if you have any other questions you can come and find me at school hope that made sense